All right, Shalom. All praise going on to Yahweh. Bashmi, I was shy. By summer cock with dash. The blunt to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect. I have an article from uh, the NPR.org. And this would be another uh, GMS News and Prophecy. Uh, and this headline uh, 2018 hurricane season will bring another battery of storms. All right. Uh, so I'm, I'm just get right into it. It says, while images of destruction caused by last year's battery of hurricanes are still fresh in the minds of many Americans, uh, uh, including those living on Puerto Rico, where after six months power is not fully restored, forecasters are cautioning the public to brace themselves for another busy hurricane season. It says researchers at Colorado State University predict this will be a slightly above average season with 14 tropical storms in 2018. Seven are expected to become hurricanes, which have a wind speed of at least 74 miles per hour. Three of those seven are expected to be major hurricanes, category three or higher, with winds reaching a minimum of 111 miles per hour. The Atlantic hurricane season runs from June 1st through the end of November. All right. So, you know, the uh, the the predictions for this year's hurricane season 2018, which is also in the spirit of Yahweh Bashan was shy, uh, you know, which has been dubbed by the Apostle Daha. This is the year of prophecy. All right. And they're already predicting that um, uh, there's going to be. A major slew of hurricanes to come through this year, even higher than last year. All right, so I want to get this scripture. All right, um, let's go to the uh, the book of uh, I believe it's uh, Isaiah twenty six. So like Isaiah twenty nine and six, Isaiah twenty nine and six. All right, <clears throat> it says, "Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts." All right, which is the most high, Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, with thunder and with earthquake. And we've been seeing, seeing an numerous amount of major earthquakes and daily earthquakes happening throughout the earth, you know. So it's definitely a sign that the Lord is visiting the earth. Now, it says in great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. Okay, so the storm and tempest, um, it, uh, <clears throat> it goes hand in hand with these uh hurricanes, okay? I'm going to read the headline again. It says 2018 hurricane season will bring another battery of storms. So this is the Lord Yahweh watch me I was shy coming through. Okay? We're coming through to visit the earth. All right? Um I'm going to continue back in the article it says Coastal residents are reminded that it only takes one hurricane making landfall to make it an active season for them. And they need to prepare the same for every season, regardless of how much activity is predicted, researchers say. Um, keep reading, it says, by comparison, 2017 had a total of 17 named storms, with 10 becoming hurricanes and 6 of them major hurricanes, including Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria, which ravaged Texas, Florida, and Puerto Rico, right? And the thing about it is, you know, here it is, you know, the Most High, Yahweh Bashan was shy, is bringing these storms and hurricanes into earth, and the people out here are still proud, man. Okay, you've had us out here, the prophets of Great Millstone, teaching all right, about these things while they were happening, before they were happening, and even after. And we're telling you that it was the Lord doing it, the uh, so-called blessed spend the Native Americans, all right, the true Israelites, we need to repent and come back to our Father, our Heavenly Father, and believe in the Son, Yahweh Shah, who's going to deliver us and set up our uh, kingdom as it's supposed to be in the earth. Okay, we're out here telling you that the kingdom of the Heavenly Father is at hand. So the Lord sent all these storms last year. Alright. And the Lord sent all these uh these uh storms out here. <clears throat> and um <clears throat> um you know you know, you know the people still uh they still um <clears throat> you know living life as if everything is just fine and dandy. Alright? But I'm pretty sure 
there's people in uh, Houston, Texas, and Florida, and Puerto Rico, you know, that are still, like, wondering, like, what the hell was going on when the storms came. Well, we've been telling you, okay? The Lord is visiting the earth, and that's what the, uh, the scriptures and the prophecies are saying, okay? Um, okay? So, I'm going to read this again. It says, by comparison, 2017 had a total of 17 named storms with 10 becoming hurricanes and six of them major hurricanes, including Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria, which ravaged Texas, Florida, and Puerto Rico. But that number exceeded forecasters' expectations, including the team from CSU. The university had only anticipated 11 tropical storms with four becoming hurricanes. So the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord... He's doing away with your predictions, man. Okay? You know? He's doing away with uh, what Esau can't anticipate. And these different newscaster, newscasters and these different um, um, analysts. Alright? Because he's going to start shaking things up. And it's predicted, alright, that they're going to... That there's going to be uh, more major hurricanes and storms to come through this year. But even what they predict this year could be way beyond what they expect this time around, man. And, that, you know, shoot, you know, through the Spirit, I hope it is. Okay? Because your people need to be humble. All right? You need to know that Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai rules in the earth, man. All right? Um, <clears throat> Let me read down some. Well, let me read this. It says, before Harvey made landfall, it was predicted as merely a tropical storm or Category 1 hurricane with wind speeds up to 85 miles per hour. But within a few days and by the time it hit the ground near Corpus Christi, Texas, it had developed into a Category 4 with 132 mile per hour winds. And that's the Lord right there, man. Okay? That's your how about you was shy increasing the winds, man. Stirring the things up. You know, via the angels, the chariots, to cause that storm to go through there, man. And with that, he protected the elect brothers out there and the camp out there, you know, and other brothers. But those that that didn't take heed to them and didn't, you know, uh, humble themselves in that storm, the Lord killed a lot of them, man. Drowned some of them, flooded their homes out. Okay? That's judgment. All right? Um... So let me get that scripture because the scripture says in prophecy that, that the Lord has his way in the whirlwind. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see. Well, here you go. This is uh, Job 37 and 9. It says, out of the south cometh the whirlwind and coal out of the north. And this goes into these... Uh, these are hurricanes, man. You know? Alright? Because on the southern coast of America, you know, I'd say, you know, into the Caribbean islands and things like that, you know, toward the south and towards the, uh, the, um, you know, southeast, that's where them hurricanes hit majorly. And then it says in Co Isle, the north, well, even in the northeast of America right now, they're still having these major snowstorms. Okay, so this is Yahweh Bashmi Al Bashad doing these things. I'm gonna read verse 10. It says, By the breath of the Most High, frost is given, and the breath of the waters is straightened. You know, they turn into ice. You know, so the Lord is, you know, all them people were um, freezing to death during these winter storms coming in 2018. So, so it's the Lord doing these things. All right, um, so let me see if I can find that particular scripture. I was looking for, uh, matter of fact, because it says he had his way in the whirlwind. Yep, this is Nahum, Nahum 1 and 3. It says, uh, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. All right, so he's not going to acquit the wicked, starting with Esau, the so-called white race. 
all right, these Edomites, and the rest of you people that, that aren't taking heed to what the uh, prophets, the uh, prophets and apostles of Great Millstone and the elect are speaking out on the streets, man. Because all the people in the world, if you're not listening to us because we're the voice of the Lord, then you're wicked, okay? So it says, the Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet, all right? So this is the power of the Lord that's getting ready to up the ante with these storms coming in this year, okay? Um, it says we issue, all right, now back in the article, it says we issue these forecasts to satisfy the curiosity of the general public and to bring attention to the hurricane problem, the university said. There was a general interest in knowing what the odds are for an active or inactive season. So basically, you really can't predict, but you, you, you know, you see certain signs in, in the skies and you think that you can say what's going to happen. All right. So it says, but, you know, you really can't. All right. And I'm talking about these uh, Edomite scientists out here. All right. It says the report also includes the probability of major hurricanes making landfall. It says 60 percent for the entire U.S. coastline average for the last century is 52 percent. So that's breaking a record. It says 39 percent for the U.S. East Coast, including the Florida Peninsula, average for the last century is 31 percent. So that's breaking one. All right. It says 38% for the Gulf Coast from the Florida Panhandle westward to Brownsville average uh, for the last century is 30%. And 52% for the Caribbean average for the last century is 42%. So, hey, man, you know, for half the Caribbean, you know, or for the Caribbean, I should say, half, half the storms that come through are likely to hit, okay, and do some damage. All right. It says uh, it says uh, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration will issue its forecast in May. All right. And uh, I believe, yeah, this is the end of the article. And these are just some names um, that it says here are the names you can expect this year. Uh, Alberto, Beryl, Chris, Debbie. Which Chris is a spiritual name. Beryl is a spiritual name because the scripture says that uh, our our Lord, Yahweh Shai, He's uh his his garment was like the barrel, which is like a green color. Then you got Chris. All right, you got uh uh what else? You got Isaac. Okay, Hurricane Isaac. It's likely to be named Michael. Hurricane Michael. Okay, Raphael. All right, Sarah even. Okay, so these are the type of storms that we're looking forward to see this year, man. And Lord willing, these biblical named um. Storms actually become major storms, man, and show you that the power of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is coming in the earth. All right, you know. All right. So once again, this is 2018 hurricane season. We'll bring another battery of storms, and this is what we're waiting for from the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. Okay. But uh, with that, I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna give our praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh. Bashmi Awa Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. Hope you all were edified. Uh, continue to look for a heavy, you know, heavy summer, hot summer. You know, um, you know, things are heating up, you know, with this um serious situation in Israel and US and Russia, Iran, you know, World War Three is heating up. Uh these storms and natural disasters are heating up. Okay, so 2018, the year of prophecy, you know, guys are bugging out, but the prophets are pushing out at a higher level and pushing this word, man, you know, staying diligent, all right, so continue to push, you know, hey, hey, it's still the year to push, man, you know, pushing what, pushing the prophecies, all right, but uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.